long time no see. It is February 12th, and yeah, I have a lot of catching up to do. I'm just now publishing um, a vlog from like, has footage from like Christmas week. But anyways, um, I'm home for the past three weeks. Alvin has been staying with his mom because she just had surgery. And so, um, I also stayed with my mom just for a little bit, just so that, you know, I wasn't here and alone. Um, but yeah, I got home a few, a couple days ago, and, um, Alvin still isn't home. Hopefully he comes home tonight, um, we'll see how his mom is feeling. Um, uh, but yeah, the apartment is a mess, so I need to clean up, make it a little bit more homey, and, uh, readjust myself. But anyways, um... One interesting thing is I just took a modern fertility hormone test and um, it came in this little kit and in the kit you take a blood sample by pricking your finger and then um, putting it on like a little sample strip and then you turn in your results and then um, a few weeks later they'll tell you your risk factors for pregnancy, where you're at um, hormone wise, um, like your egg health, stuff like that. Other than that, Nothing really new. I have a bunch of packages that I need to go through that came in. So one of the packages that I got, my friend from um, like elementary school, she wasn't really my friend. She was like friends of friends because she was a little bit older than me. But she started a company called Feel Your Happiness. And it's basically a crystal company. And um, I've been really wanting to get into crystals and just have them around the house because it can be um, a good source of positivity. Uh, but yeah, let me show you what's in the package. It's super cute. There's this beautiful, beautiful cookie. It just has like royal icing and it's supposed to be like uh, gems. Then in this part, I have all of my different kind of crystals. The set that I bought comes with five different crystals. I'm really excited to um, use these and put them around and see if it makes a difference in my life. Um, first things first though is I need to cleanse these. So um, after I clean up a little bit and do some things around the house, I'm gonna go over to this metaphysical shop called The Secret Door here in Morgan Hill. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Maybe I can get some sage. Sage is uh, really common in cleansing your crystals. So yeah. Good adventures for today. Also, it's Valentine's Day weekend, and I'm so excited because, I mean, one, me and Alvin haven't been able to spend um, a lot of time together in the past three weeks. I mean, I think this is the, the most we've ever been apart um, during our relationship. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be extra special, and I'm planning a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna make him like a little Valentine's Day basket and then on actual Valentine's Day, I'm gonna set up like a little at-home tea party. I just wanna show you what I plan to do for Alvin. I got this little basket from TJ Maxx and then I'm gonna fill it with some snacks, some goodies. Um, Valentine's Day is usually about like chocolates and sweets, but we're more savory people. And Alvin, I know, wants like healthier things. So I got him some kind bars. Oh, he likes these. It's the Stroop waffles. Oops. The Stroop waffles. These are super, super yummy. I like them too. And then I got him some crackers. He loves these cheddar cheese crackers. And then I got him some stacks. So, so good. And then I got him some Lifesaver mints. He likes to carry those and keep them in his office, I think. And then Twix. I always get him Twix on Valentine's Day because um, on our first Valentine's Day together, um, Alvin and I, we were just talking. We weren't even uh, like together yet. But I got him a bunch of Twix candy bars and then I, I put them in like a little cup and arranged it so it looked like kind of like a flower arrangement. So yeah, that was so funny because um, I was in Target for like almost an hour with my roommate at the time and I was trying to find a Valentine's gift for him since we were spending Valentine's Day together but I didn't want anything with like hearts on it I didn't want anything that said like 
I love you or anything. So I'm just gonna pour this in, I guess. I wonder if I have, um, I wonder if I have something to put it up. I will be right back. So in addition to his little basket, I just went to a, a metaphysical store to buy some sage. And then I saw these two little or stones that I thought Alvin would like. And these ones are called, um, I'm not sure how to say it. It's like hematite, hematite. It's supposed to promote balance. It's supposed to be great for stress relief and um, relieve, I think, a lot of forms of pain in your body. I've been trying to get into crystals. So yeah, I thought these were super cute. And then I'll do his card and put it on there. But super cute, I hope he likes it. I'm so, so excited because we're gonna have a tea party on Sunday at home. And I get to use my tea sets that my mom bought me a while ago. Um, I have a bad habit of not using my things because I just don't wanna ruin them, especially something like this. But I mean, I thought about it and they're meant to be used, so I'm gonna break these out. This one is so, so beautiful. It's an actual um, authentic English tea set. So yeah, I have my tea cups and my teapot and my little tea plate, so, so, so excited. Can't wait to show you guys how it turns out. Hi. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. So for lunch today, we are having a tea party. So happy to be able to use all of my tea stuff. So cute, so let me show you what we got. Don't mind this pot, it doesn't really match, but it's a little blue pot that Alvin got me for Christmas one year. And then, and then I have this tea set which is from Royal Albert. My mom got it for me for Christmas a different year. And this is actually a like authentic English tea set. So it's really, really beautiful. And then it came with this tier to two tier um, stand. So I just put our scones and some of our desserts on there. Super cute. I have the tea box in case we want any other teas. And then I have my teapot. So pretty and cute. And then we have this stand. We have our sandwiches at the bottom. Savories in the middle. Thank you, love. And then some more desserts. Then I have my teacup here. Matches Alvin's. And then Alvin got me a um, love pop card for Valentine's Day. This one is Mickey and Minnie. It's super cute and it's a rose bouquet. And of course, I have my Mrs. Potts and Chip teacups here. I'm not gonna use these, but I think it's super cute for decoration. I love, love, love how everything turned out. We are starving. So, let's dig in. All right. You ready? Yeah, let's enjoy it. Yeah. My tea smells really good. I got like a, um, I forgot what, it's like a floral blend. Mmm, smells like blueberries and strawberries. I think Alvin just got regular Earl Grey. Wow. Well, yeah. I'll be munching on that all day. Yeah. Let me get some milk in this. I like an Earl Grey. The I like a milk. cloud. A fog, London fog. A London fog. fog. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this little sandwich is. It's a heart-shaped cucumber sandwich. And then there's an edible like orchid flower. It's not an orchid probably. Then there's an the edible flower. So pretty. Cucumber sandwiches are my fave. Whoa! Wow! So, Alvin and I borrowed this projector and we're gonna watch Raya tonight on the projector so it's like we have a real movie theater experience but we're waiting for the sun to go down and for now, 
I'm watching Disney World fireworks complete with my Disney ears. So cool. I angled it so that it looks like the fireworks are going up in the sky. <laughs> up into the ceiling. To the sky. Wow, look at this, front row seats. I can never see the castle. Look how big. Finn, are you at Disneyland? I don't like fireworks. It's too loud. It's too loud up there. We are now on the Jungle Cruise. Finn's not impressed. Okay. Look at Ben Elephants! Okay Google, turn off the living room light. Whoa, that's super cool! We pulled out the couch. Our couch is actually like a futon type couch. So it's like a full bed. And then we got our snacks, some Hawaiian jalapeno chips, some popcorn with Tabasco. Evan wants some beers. We had dinner already. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Let's play. What? Cool, let's go, let's sit. <laughs> Love, this is like the coolest thing ever. I open the beers. Ben. Hey, what is this, bootleg? What? You know when they like, uh, <laughs> when it's bootleg and then people walk around? I thought it was like a graphic that they put. Look at this so weird. Sure. Okay, no distraction. Then your first movie theater experience. So, super, super excited because one of our potential bakers just came by and dropped off our tasting box. Um, it's so, so pretty. It's called Yellow Cake Desserts. Looks delicious. She hand delivered it too, so I'm so so thankful. Let's open it up. How cute! Oops. Okay, let me open this off camera. There's magic inside. Wow. Oh. Can I get up? Ooh, we got vanilla and salted caramel, chocolate with raspberry and filling and rose frosting, champagne, chocolate toffee with salted caramel. Ooh, ooh, Earl Grey, mm -hmm. vanilla and strawberry. How cute! And then she gave us like little champagne flutes. And then congratulations. I will read that. Real Some Perrier. How cute is this? Some cookies so that we can taste. How cute. I love it. Okay. What's it called? Pierre? Perrier? Perrier. Ooh. We have some palate cleanser, Perrier. How cute. Oh, that's what it's for palate cleansing. Ooh, I did that pretty good, huh? Hmm? Okay. Wood, how cute. 
and also more eco-friendly. The plates are wood too. How cute is this? It says celebrate. And even though we're only tasting like X amount of flavors, she can do any combination that we want, any flavors that we want. So I gave her like a little idea and she put it based on our meeting. And then I think she can also make other things like we want a full dessert table with like mini desserts. So after we taste and get a feel for um, what her flavors are, then we can work from there. And she'll do like a full on spread. We're not doing very much to our venue because the venue itself is already really beautiful and doesn't need that much work. But our dessert table is gonna be our wow factor. It's gonna be in its own separate room. Um, my vision is to have like a backdrop and then something with like maybe our initials or something and then um, some up lighting in the back and then we'll have a full spread with like plentiful desserts with like tears and other cute things. So yeah, really exciting and um, her desserts look really aesthetic and the last thing to do is just taste and see if uh, it matches what we have in mind. But Alvin and I, we're not like too, too big into sweets so we're not very picky. Okay, what should we try first? I'm going with the vanilla and strawberries. I'll take the one with the toppings, the one at the end. This one? Yeah, what is it? This is chocolate toffee and caramel. Really oh, cool. should we, um, let me get the notebook. <laughs> Knock on wood. Because <laughs> the fork's made out of wood. Knock on wood. I have my little wedding planner here. I'm gonna take some notes. So you have, I have vanilla with strawberries. Also, we, we need to keep in mind that like, it's not just for us. So, thinking about like, what people will like to enjoy while they're at our wedding. Ooh, fresh strawberries. Mmm, not too sweet. I think they like this though. Mmm, good point. So for our cake, only Alvin and I are eating our cake. Because we're selfish. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Try that. Definitely fresh strawberries will be in our wedding cake plus um, somewhere on our dessert table. Boom, mm, that's really good. Super rich, or it's not super rich. There's a lot of flavors. I think there's a difference between flavorful and rich, right? Uh, yeah. Rich is clean. Ooh. Also keep in mind that this isn't what the desserts are gonna look like. Okay. Because they're going to be mini desserts so that we don't have a lot of waste. Cool. Strawberries and vanilla. I mean, I'm so bad when we're doing our tastings. Like, when we're doing our wedding tasting, my notes were like, yummy, delicious. <laughs> Macadamia nut, I like it. I'm not for that. Mm -hmm. Cookies are always yummy. We can have a variety of cookies. Yeah, this overall. Time. What? This one and uh, the toffee nut are my top two. Yeah, I think mine too. And the vanilla and salted caramel was good. Ah, oh, this looks so unhealthy. There's a bag of chips. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy to like get the ball rolling on this. Um, our previous vendor pulled out, so she didn't pull out. She just wasn't available on our rescheduled date. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to working with her and I need to email her and let her know the good news. We can probably email her before she gets home. <laughs> I know. to your bike um it got the gears got all wrapped up with a cord and it broke oh no so i gotta go fix it. i don't know how
but I'll Google, I'll uh, YouTube it. We'll figure it out. <coughs> Did you have a good run over? It was cool. I'm usually running for a warm up and then cool down and run more. But it's more of a warm up and it's kind of. Now you get up. warm up tacos, then warm up. <laughs> <laughs> so you got some rice. Uh, this place also has barbecue. Or I think it's a barbecue place that has tacos. So Alvin has potato pot salad. Well, you order two stuff? Two tacos? Two. Two for each. Tacos. Fixings. <sighs> Puppy trying to get food. Hey! Looks good. Let's dig in. Good morning! Today is Sunday, March 21st and I'm just up and ready because this morning we're going to go ahead and take a bike ride over to get acai bowls at Vitality Bowl. Um, it's a little ways, it's a little far, but um, it's such a nice day outside, so it'll be a good bike ride. I got a detox bowl and added some peanut butter. Uh, once I open this, you'll be able to see the nutty bowl. Whoop. That looks pretty good. Nice. We made it. Good ride. Halfway there. We're celebrating already. <laughs> You like blueberries? 